Hi. In this video, we'll be talking about using 360 degree images in our VR worlds. So first off, what are 360 degree images? Well, 360 degree images capture all the visual information from a particular vantage point. So it's like taking a picture in every single direction and stitching that all together. So they look really weird when they're projected onto a flat two-dimensional surface because you're putting a full 360 degree view into two dimensions. But when we view them in VR, we can actually look around as if we were standing right there, which is awesome. So in this video, we'll be talking about how to get these 360 degree images into our VR worlds and play around with them. First thing we'll need to do is find a 360 degree image to use. So we can either capture our own using a 360 degree camera, or we can find images online and then cite our sources. So any image we use online, we should give credit to the person who took that image. So the roadmap for this video is first we will talk about capturing an image with a 360 degree camera and loading that image onto your computer. If you don't have a 360 degree camera, that's okay because second we'll be talking about finding an image on Flickr and downloading that image onto your computer. And third, once we have that image on our computer, we'll talk about getting that image from your computer into your actual VR program. So if you're using a camera, the first thing we'll need is a 360 degree camera. The camera I use in this video is the Ricoh Theta S, but there's a lot of options. Second, we'll need any software that the camera requires. For the Ricoh Theta S, I had to download a viewing app from this URL. So depending on your camera, just Google it, see if you need any software on your computer and download that. And third, we'll need a way to get images off of the camera and onto the computer. So depending on the camera, you'll do this either over Wi-Fi or through a USB cable. Most cameras, it's going to be through a USB cable. So once we have these, we can go ahead and get started capturing an image with our camera. So the first step is to take a picture. Find something that you want to capture and take your picture with your 360 degree camera. And make sure to hold the camera still because a lot of cameras take a second or two to get the full field of view. So you don't want the camera to shake at all. Second, we'll download any software that we need. So several cameras require the computer to have a particular application to view the images. For example, for my camera, the Ricoh Theta S, I had to download something from here. So again, just Google this and download whatever you need. And third, go ahead and plug in your camera. So connect your camera to your computer, either through USB or over Wi-Fi. Once you've done this, we wanna transfer the images from the camera into the computer. So for Windows or Linux, plug your camera in and follow the on-screen instructions. For Mac OS, you should either use the Photos app or the Image Capture app to unload the images. So I'm on Mac OS, so this is what I saw when I plugged in my camera. I opened up the Image Capture app and I could see my camera under the Devices list, and I simply chose to import all into my Pictures folder. Once you've done this, success! We have our 360 images and videos on our computer. Now, if you don't have a camera, that's okay because we can find some online. So if we're using online images, there is a great gallery of 360 degree images under Creative Commons licenses here on Flickr. A Creative Commons license just means that whoever took these photos is allowing everyone in the community to use these images as long as they cite their sources. So you can go ahead, go to this URL uh, and browse the gallery. So the first step is browsing the gallery and finding an image that you like. Once you find an image, go ahead and download it using this download button on Flickr. Make sure that you choose either small or medium because if you have a very large file, it's going to make your VR program run really slowly. So choose small or medium, download the file, and make sure to save the author's info. So whoever took the photo, we're going to be giving them credit in our program. So make sure you save their name, the name of the picture, when it was taken, things like this. And also save the URL where you found the photo. Once we've done this, success! We have a 360 degree image or video saved on our computer. Now from this point, whether we took it ourselves or found one online, we have an image on our computer. Let's talk about getting that into our VR world. So the first thing you'll need to do is upload that image to CodeHS. The reason for this is because you'll be viewing the VR world on a URL that begins with CodeHS.com. And for web security reasons, the image also needs to start with the URL codehs.com. If they are on different domains, then the browser does weird things and does, doesn't allow it. So we need to upload the image to CodeHS so that we have a CodeHS URL for the image. So to do this, simply go over to the Upload tab, you click More, and then go down to Upload. Once you're in the Upload tab, go ahead and click Choose File, and choose the image or video that you want to upload. So find it on your computer and click Open, and it will upload that file. And then it might take a second, but wait a bit, and it will upload the image to CodeHS and give you a URL for that image. 
So copy that URL and that is the URL we'll be using in our program. So once we have that URL, all we need to do is set the SRC attribute of either a sky or a sphere to be that URL and we have that image in our VR program, which is awesome. So here's an example of setting the SRC of the sky to be a 360 degree image that I took. And when you do this, it pretty much projects the image onto a massive sphere on the inside. So it's like you're standing in the middle of a huge sphere and looking around at the image. Another option is to put the image on the outside of a smaller sphere. So we can make a sphere of a smaller radius and set the SRC of that sphere, the source attribute on that sphere, to be the URL of our image and it will wrap that image around the sphere. Now if we took a video instead of an image, then all we need to do is use the A video sphere tag instead of the A sky tag. Everything else is the same. So if it's a video, we make an A video sphere and set the SRC equal to the URL of the uploaded video. And once we do this, we can see we can actually stand in the middle and look around and view this video as if we were standing right there. So that is how we can use 360 degree images and videos. Let's dive in and see some examples of this in action.